Okay, here's a genre I miss. The 90s had a lot of them. The political thriller. So here's the Pelican Brief, Kraken Tullow and Denzel Washington and Julia Roberts. About a lie and a reporter on the run from the government for secrets they know. The Hunt for Red October, of course. Uh, geopolitical, as it's probably called. So, cracking film with the Russian accent by Sean Connery. And two for the price of one. Absolute power. The president's done something wrong. Clint knows. And then, in the line of fire, Clint is protecting the president from a political assassin. Two great films. Uh, small scale, Arlington Road. Someone's political views are causing trouble in this bloody great thriller. Jeff Bridges and Tim Robbins. Conspiracy theory. Just because you think they're out to get you doesn't mean they're not. So it's a great government thriller with Mel Gibson and Julia Roberts again. Harrison Ford in Clear and Present Danger. Goes to fight the war on drugs, but the White House is involved in off the book shenanigans. And finally, Enemy of the State. Will Smith and Gene Hatman making a great couple in this 90s techno thriller by Tony Scott. He did some cracking films, but this pairing was a good one in the late 90s, or early 2000s, actually, I think. I think it was 2000. But yeah, there we go. A genre sadly lost to time. Thank you for watching. Here end of the lesson.